Batman Arkham Asylum short video game review. Batman has captured the Joker once again, but it seemed a bit easy this time, so he escorts him all the way into the Arkham Asylum facilities. The asylum in this game is an entire island, not only the mansion of the comics, although the mansion is still there. The Joker breaks free, of course, and takes over Arkham, threatening to blow up bombs hidden all over Gotham if he does not, if, if he sees anyone approach the island. Batman is trapped and on his own, only getting aid from Oracle, formerly Batgirl, and yeah, having to deal with, you know, only a little equipment and fighting his way through the goons of Joker, rescuing the hostages they've taken, and he might just have to deal with one or two supervillains that the Joker is free to unleash. This uses a lot of elements from the comic books with a uh, an original story written by Paul Dini, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, a veteran of the comic books, and it really captures the spirit of Batman. Every single character here, they nail. Mark Hamill delivers a stunning performance as the Joker, the most terrifying and absurdly comical Joker outside of the Killing Joke and Ledger's Joker. It's a game where everything is polished to the furthest extent. It doesn't have as much variety as other games, but again, everything there is, is thoroughly polished. Basically, the game has two basic modes of play. You're either fighting or you're doing stealth. The fighting is a free-flow martial arts combo system, which is probably the best I've seen in a third-person action game. It's incredibly open and yet smooth. It, it strikes the perfect balance. Anyone can play it, but few will be able to master it. And master it, you might just want to, because the better you do in it, the more XP you get, and XP means upgrades. And upgrades mean more opportunities at times in the fighting and at other times in the stealth. And the stealth is amazing. It's highly creative. You can attract one enemy at a time to a certain spot. You can hang them from a gargoyle if they pass underneath. You can use controlled demolitions to knock them down, and you can glide kick with your cape. The graphics are amazing. I've seen games from 2012 that don't live up to this game, which came out in 2009. The, the, the faces are extensively expressive, and the gothic architecture is just incredibly effective, with tall windows, as I've already mentioned, gargoyles, and the game is very isolated and claustrophobic. This does also mean that it's somewhat linear. It's not quite the sandbox game that some might expect. It certainly isn't as open as Grand Theft Auto or Assassin's Creed. But these, this linearity is in, in service of this mood, and it's very much that the Joker is in control, not Batman. And seeing Batman overcome these odds proves how badass he is. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.